Guys, so what I want to talk to you about today is the topic of field reports. Okay, so for those of you that are in the community, um, there's this, you already know what it is, but for those of you that aren't in the community, there's this topic called field reports, where basically you're giving like a summation of the night. Like you might give like, here's the lessons, like this happened, this happened, this happened. Here's what I fucked up. Like, here's what I need to work on. Here's what I think are the lessons. Like, here's what I need to pay more attention to next time. And other guys in the community, like on these forums and stuff, usually, you know, unqualified guys will review these field reports and try to give advice, okay? And try to give like suggestions and they're like, well, here's you, where you went wrong when you did this, you should have done this and blah, blah, blah. But a second reason why they are important um, is to kind of like vet your skills, right? So if you read a, a field report that someone else wrote about a particular pickup artist, then that kind of backs up claims from that particular pickup artist, okay? Especially if it's not coming from that person directly, okay? Or if it is coming from that person directly and you can trust them, that backs it up as well. But so the reason I wanted to make this video, I don't, I'm not like a huge, huge fan of field reports. Like I used to write them all the time when I was moving from intermediate to advanced. Um, but I've had like some guys, like it's just like so far outside of the reality to fuck over 700 girls that they're like, oh, like, you know, it must be fake or whatever. So I've had some guys private message me and they're like, is it really 700? Like when I hit 150 back in early 2013, like all the guys on RC Nation were like 150, like no way. And that seemed really high. Like it's all relative. Like when I was at like three lay count, I found out this girl I really liked was at like nine lays and I was like, fuck, what a huge slut. And I like really, really bothered me. I have like this fucking camera like propped up on this thing here. I'm moving to like a new setup uh, tomorrow. So sorry if the image is shaking. Um, basically, um, yeah, so so like I thought I it couldn't get, get over the fact that she was like nine. And then the same thing happened when I was at like 12 or 13 lays and I met the studios at like 29. I was like, how the fuck are you at 29? And I thought like a hundred, this, this isn't a video about lay count, but I'm just trying to show you guys like it's all relative and I'm, that'll lead into this field report thing. When I was at like 20, when I got into the 20s lay count, like I, I thought like a hundred would be like a good lifetime goal to set. Um, but I thought it was like actually impossible. Like I was like, I remember talking to my roommate at the time, like, dude, like, can you imagine fucking a hundred girls like being the triple digits? He's like, no, but that'd be fucking awesome. I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. We'd be like, that's like a really good goal for us to set. And you know, even when I hit a hundred back in like middle of 2012, um, I remember like hearing about someone being at like 140 or something like that. And I was just like, holy shit. Um, and then it just, it just kept happening. And like 300 seemed huge, 400 seemed huge, 500. And now like I'm, I'm coming up on 800. This isn't a brag thing. I'm just, I'm just trying to show you guys how it's like so outside of your reality. Like most of you guys, I said in another video, said in another video, most of you are like in the five to 20 lay count, um, maybe even lower which is fine. Yeah. Like I'm going to teach you how to get up to that level, but it's just all relative. So it's like if guys can't understand. It just sounds fake. And there are a lot of people claiming fake numbers like that. Like, as I said before, I have over a hundred infield polls on camera. I've got tons of advanced guys that can back up my shit. Like for those that know me, they know I never lie about any of this stuff. Um, but the point of this is I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to link in the description down below. I'm going to link my favorite field report that was written about me. So it was written by another guy, and if you're wondering about the credibility of this guy, um, he has the top viewed field report thread on RST Nation. And he was like traveling around, like meeting the gurus or whatever. Like he has another post where he talks about like his experiences with the top four guys in game. And I'm talked about in that, I'll actually link that post as well. Um, but okay, so, so kind of just to give you like a rundown of what happened in that field report. Basically I was running a boot camp and I had a girlfriend at the time and Watch my video about how to pull threesomes with your with your bisexual girlfriend or, or fuck buddy. Um, but we pulled a threesome during program, came back. We were about to pull another threesome. Or actually, well, there was like four girls in that group, I think. Either four or five. And then you'll, you re you'll read in the story, like, basically, like, the rapper Flo Rida, he was performing. And one of the girls went up on stage to dance with him. But, like, we were fingering, like, me and my girl were, like, fingering... Um, I think I was fingering the one chick and, and the chick was fingering my girl that I was with like on the dance floor, this group of like Irish girls and one of their friends went up on the stage and then we ended up like losing it because um, we sent like another girl up to go get her and then that like backfired and Flo Rider pulled her up on stage and then like, we lost the whole group up on stage. But that was, so it's like, um, but then after that we pulled, um, we were getting phone numbers too, but after that we pulled a set upstairs with Swedish chicks that were like not DTF and that didn't go down. 
Um, and then we like hit up one of the numbers of a girl that my chick had been making out with, and we had another threesome with her. So like in total, it was two threesomes, a finger girl on the dance floor, and a pole that didn't convert. But it could have ended up getting more crazy. Like if we brought those girls from the that we lost to the, to Florida, that would have been like three threesomes for the night. Um, and if we had closed the, the Swedish girls on that pole, like like there was an opportunity for like four hookups there. So I. So part of this is to like back up, and this was in August of 2015 when I was at like 450. So part of this is to back, and so, and that my skills have evolved like much more since then. Like that was like two years ago. So, so I want to show you like what a typical, I mean, this isn't a typical, typical night. It was more on like the night on steroids side, but a lot of my nights are, you know, there's a lot of crazy shit happening like this. Like there's almost always at least one pull, there's multiple makeouts, um, there's tons of like really solid number closes, that kind of shit. Um, really crazy stuff happening. So this will kind of show you, first of all, what's possible in a night, because this is going to be way outside of your guys' realities. Second of all, it's going to back up the claims I've been making. And this was, keep in mind, this was over two years ago, two and a half years ago, almost. And this is when I was at about 450 count. And it was, it's still like the night wasn't a bad night. It was two separate threesomes. Um, and like we had numbers to close like later on and stuff. And we had like a failed pull, failed pull. The girls just weren't DTF. And then we had, uh, fingering the other girls on the dance floor and like making out. Um, but just read that. And it, it's, I'm really glad that the guy that wrote it is, has the highest view. He has the highest viewed field report throughout an RC nation. So like it's coming from like a very valid source and he goes into like full details and stuff. Um, one person read it. I don't even know. Like I showed it to a lot of people and like only th this one guy said, he was like, Oh, it sounds like yeah, it's coming from you. Like I can, I can like give you guys like the contact info of this kid and like the people that were on the bootcamp, like they all saw this shit. Like it's not, People try to act like it's like you're trying to like prove Jesus Christ or something. Like this is all like well supported. Um, that's pretty much it. So I I, I just want to link. I'm gonna link you guys to this field report, and I'll link you to the post where he talks about the top meeting the top four guys in game. I actually agree with like one of the people on the list, but the other two I don't. Um, they get him because I know, dude. He originally started my company with me back in 2013 with with one other dude. He's really solid. He's in like the top three best I know. He's traveled to like 30 countries and. I think he's around like 400 count now or something, but um, he's really solid. Um, so I'll link, I'll link those down here, the field report and his 2000th post. And that'll give you um, a window into what's possible and also back up, you know, some of the shit that I've been claiming um, in regards to lay count and my skills and that kind of stuff. So thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it. And in terms of like what, what value I think field reports can provide, Guys like Alex Vilenchek, I think can, he's very, very systematic in the way he breaks them down in his group playing with fire. So I think you can get a lot of value out of those. He'll show you like the exact, um, and he actually, if you join his group, he actually has a thread now where it's like a compilation of field reports from all these top online game guys. And they show you like, here's the Tinder messages that were sent. Here's the text messages that were sent. Um, here's what happened like after that. And, and they break the whole thing down. They even send you like voice notes and stuff that they send over WhatsApp. So like, you can read a whole bunch of these and you can just extract patterns. Okay. My, I don't, I don't really like teaching that way too much. Um, that's just a matter of preference. I still think there's a lot of value to be got out of those field reports. I prefer to tell guys directly, like here, rather than having them go extract the patterns themselves, I extract all the patterns for them and, and kind of like spoon feed, like down and dirty, like, here's what you need to do, like step by step. Whereas with those guys, like you can extract, lessons on your own and just get a sense for like the general vibe and stuff like that of what's going on in the interaction. So that being said, and the, by the way, these threads are on, I've saved them off, but they're on RSD nation right now. But if the, you know, if some RSD fucking mod or retard happens to watch this and, and removes them, I'll, I'll just repost them on, on my own site and uh, you guys can read them there. So enjoy, leave your comments below. Can't wait for like the fucking haters that where it's outside of the reality and they're just like, this could never happen because it's a, it's a pretty crazy. I like reading it. It's like, yeah, because there's been so many nights like this where it's just like all this crazy shit happening. And there's, it's like, it's like, oh, like I missed out on a poll and I missed out on like, I lost girls to flow ride. Like, I missed out on a poll at the house that didn't close and I missed out on the lost girls to flow rider. But it's like, who fucking cares? I had two threesomes and I fingered a girl on dance floor, you know, and I still like had, I had a girlfriend that I like fucked even after that, that after these girls left. I think one of them slept over. Um, all right. But yeah. Thank you guys, and I will see you on the next video.